We, we pride ourselves on the quality of our democracy and we call Parliament the mother of parliaments. Well, mother has become pretty dissolute. She, she's now a degraded hag and our democracy is not one we can hold up as a standard uh, for the rest of the world to emulate. Roger Morgan said democracy was invented in Greece two and a half thousand years ago. It's come for, to us in the installment plan, bit by bit, and we're still a long way from achieving it. And the most distorting element of it is the lack of any proportional representation. And we've had the ludicrous situation in Wales in two elections in 97, 2001, where the Conservatives got 20% uh, of the total vote in the country and they didn't get a single one of the 40 seats. And in 2001, uh, the Tories had uh, about 300,000 votes. Labour had just over twice that number, 660,000 votes. The Tories had no seats and Labour had 34. And this is not democracy. This is not representing the views of the people of the country. And we, we, we should be doing something about it. I, I, I've tended to put forward a, uh, six new points for Chartists in this century. And the first one is make all votes of equal value. It's very difficult to do, but until we do, I mean, the public might well cotton on that very few of them uh, have any influence on results of elections because when they vote, it, if they sit, if they're in a, in a safe seat, uh, which most people are, it has no result and it's all determined by the half, three quarter of a million people who form that uh, change voting in the marginal seats. So we have a democracy. Uh, that doesn't reflect the opinions of the public. And that's a very dangerous uh, uh, position to be in. The reason we decided on it, and we, uh, I mean, it was to our credit, not that we'd ever get credit for it, but, but those who were uh, looking forward to a Welsh Assembly, we wanted to avoid one party rule in, per in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to see a Glamorgan County Council on stilts because we mm -hmm. know the results of one party rule uh, forever. So it, it was done deliberately to give other uh, parties a chance of, of taking part in, in, in government. So it was done for the, the best of reasons. That's the whole point of it, is we have a system um, that is working. But the great uh, problem we have uh, at the moment in the Welsh Assembly is there aren't enough members there. Mm. And again, you can't win a public vote in isolation by saying vote for more politicians. Mm. But you can do it as a package and say, well, there's going to be fewer members of the European Parliament. We're going to cut down the number of peers. We're going to cut down the number of members of Parliament. And then, to compensate that, we have more members of the Welsh Assembly. Mm -hmm. But I believe that uh, you know, well, one has to frame a question uh, that can be understood simply by the electorate, that, that can't be distorted uh, by the lobbyists, and, and we give people a fair chance to vote fully understanding of what the, the choice is. I'm, I'm certainly, we, we want to keep the constituency link. We, we become maternal about constituencies. You know, we, we are part of them. We speak for them. I am Newport West. I'm not Paul Flynn when I speak in the House. So certainly that's a very precious and important link. And yeah. we keep that and have a system of, of top-ups. I think it's, a, it's the best way, the best compromise to reach on that. Part of the, the, the comedy in politics is we play this silly game and believe that 100% of what we say is right within the confines of our parties and 100% of what our opponents uh, say is wrong. And it was interesting to see uh, recently uh, David Ellis Thomas uh, making uh, a point about leaving the party. And the, the fourth commandment of my Ten Commandments for backbenchers is uh, oppose your opponents only when they're wrong. And this is quite a startling thing to say, but often they are right and you, we, we are saying the same thing. So when we go together and throughout the, the house at the moment, I mean, there's very little that I disagree with in the, uh, in the policy of the Green Party uh, and uh, a lot I'd agree with policy of the Lib Dems and Plaid Cymru. And it, it is a nonsense to go on playing this game, this antagonism uh, between groups. Uh, when we know there's a, there should be a common interest, there should certainly be a common interest on the environment because we're all going to 
choke to death eventually unless we get the environment right to affect all of us and our children and grandchildren and there, there isn't uh, a right and wrong there or a great tradition going down from Disraeli or an Adam Bevan that shows us the only shining path forward now of course we should be working together like intelligent people not squabbling like tribes that have uh, want to cut each other's throats It's been a depressing story in my uh, 29 years in this place where we've seen Liberal Democrats uh, pushing for personal representation because there were huge advantages for them. They were cheated uh, by past elections when they could get, you know, 27, 28 percent of the vote and still a tiny uh, number of seats. I mean, the great obstacle is the self-interest of the main parties and certainly my party and the Conservative Party have voted for their own self-interest, for their own majorities, because they know that first past the post does distort the system mm -hmm. in their favour and is getting over that to, uh, to a day, well, glorious day that will dawn when uh, Parliament will see the beauty of democracy and all its perfection as envisaged in ancient Greece two and a half thousand years ago and the dream will arrive here in Westminster.